there. What else is going on in the MMA business world? We turn now to Adam Swift for more on that. Adam? Thanks, Kenny. When Elite XC became the first MMA promotion to secure a primetime network television deal earlier this year, many within the industry predicted the deal would change the face of the sport by establishing a legitimate competitor to the UFC and shifting the industry's business model from pay-per-view to network television. Six months and two CBS events later, the early returns are in, and UFC President Dana White, roundly criticized for his failure to close a network television deal, has to be smiling, thanks to recent financial reports illustrating the stark contrast between the fortunes of Zufa and Pro Elite since the landmark deal in February. Pro Elite's latest SEC filing reveals that its network television breakthrough has meant little to its bottom line. In fact, instead of bolstering its balance sheet, the added CBS exposure has actually been a net loss in pure financial terms, thanks to a rights fee that is apparently insufficient to cover costs associated with staging the events. Through the first two quarters of 2008, the company lost $24 million, including $9.4 million in write-downs related to its acquisitions of Cage Rage, King of the Cage, and Icon last year. The company has lost a total of $55 million in its first 16 months of existence. In stark contrast, last month, Standard & Poor's issued a report revising Zufa's credit rating outlook to stable from negative. The report cited an upward trend in pay-per-view revenue, which accounts for roughly 75% of Zufa's total revenue, as the key factor in the company's increased profit margin. While the number of actual buys has remained relatively flat in recent quarters, pay-per-view revenue has increased thanks to an increase in the number of events, higher prices, and more favorable distribution terms. The report suggests that critics of White's decision to hold out for higher right fees and greater control were off base. The UFC continues to thrive without network television, while Pro Elite finds itself struggling to survive and dependent on the support of CBS. The future of the sport may very well lie on network television, but for now, pay-per-view remains king. For Inside MMA, I'm Adam Swift. All right, thanks, Adam. For Thank more you. with Adam, you can go to MMAPayout.com.